There are several ways that you can sign a PDF document that's been sent to you. The easiest way is through Acrobat Reader DC, which usually comes as a default on all the all the on most computers, but you can also install it for free. When you receive an email with a document for you to sign, the first step to do is to save it on your computer. So click on the drop down arrow and choose Save As if you're using Outlook, and then navigate to where you want to save it. So in this case, I want to save it to my desktop so I can find it again. If you're accessing it from a browser, it's the same. You can click on this little download icon or you can click on the drop down arrow and choose download. And that's going to save automatically to your downloads and it will open it in your default tool. I'm going to minimize that. If you're using Edge, it sometimes defaults to open an Edge as well. So I can do the same thing where I can download it to save it to my downloads, but it might also open in Edge where you can't sign it here directly. So the best option first and foremost is to download it and save it somewhere on your computer. If it downloads and it gives you this option to open or save, click the arrow to save as so you can choose where you're going to save it. Again, if you can choose, select the desktop so you can find it easily. If you don't choose, it's going to default to downloads, which is also fine. You just have to remember that's where it got saved. Once it's on your computer, um, if it looks like this, where it's going to open in Adobe Acrobat, and when you click on it, it opens just like this in Adobe Acrobat Reader DC, then you can follow the next steps along. If it doesn't open in this, if it tries to open in a browser, you can right click on the file and choose open with and choose Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Once you're in the document in Adobe Acrobat Reader, this is how you add a signature. At the top, you'll see this bar here. And if it's not here, you might see this option on the right hand side under fill and sign. But typically you'll see this option, this bar at the top, and you can click on this option that looks like a little pen. When you click on that, you're going to have this option to add signature or add initials. If you click add signature, it'll open a box where you can either type your name or you can sign your name using the draw option if you want to draw your signature. Oftentimes the typing is going to be easier than using your mouse to sign your name. You can opt to save the signature so that it shows up anytime uh, you're, you're needing to sign a document on your computer. When you click apply, it'll pop, the signature is now your mouse. So now you can scroll down to the section where you need to add your signature. Oh, I'm using a document where I already had one. Let me open another document without a signature. Okay. So now that I have my signature, um, I've selected it. I scroll down to where I need to sign and I click in the section I need where I need to put my signature. On the right hand side where it has a date, I can use these tools up here, this text tool, to click in here and add text here. So that's where I can add this date. Then lastly, you need to save that document again. So if you click save, it's gonna override the original blank document. So you can also click save as to rename that file. Again, I like to choose the desktop right away if I don't know exactly where I want to save it because it's easy for me to find. So here I might save, I might add my name to the end of it or say that it was, you know, with signature, something that indicates that it's different. So I know which is the one that I need to send back and then click save. So now when I go to open that document, that new document that I've saved, it will have the signature in the location. 
and then you can email that back to whoever you need to send it to.